Hello everyone. Welcome back to another GIS mathematics lecture video. And in this lecture video, I want to go through our third example of our normal cylindrical projections, talking about the conformal projection, which again, conformal projections are the ones that try to maintain shape of, or more specifically, they maintain small angles. So they would maintain the sh uh, the shape of small shapes. So let's go ahead and think about what we've done in the past, right? So we've already done these three example cities, New York, London, and Paris. We've already done these for the equidistant and equivalent projections. Now we're going to do them one final time for the conformal projections. So what we're going to do is we're going to skip step one. So if step one where we converted from degrees to radians, right, if this seems confusing to you, go back, rewatch the equidistant video, that's where we generated these values. Otherwise, we're going to move on to step two, where we plug everything into a formula. So I'm going to go ahead and give us some new space up here, where I have already copied the um, values from step one. So now we're going to go and move on to step two, plug into formula. Okay. So what formulas are we going to be using? Well, we're going to be using the conformal formula, where the easting, as always, we're going to assume that the easting distance was correct, and that's that r lambda, where r is the radius of our Earth, and lambda is our the latitude, or sorry, longitude, the longitude of our, of our uh, point. And then the northing, we again, we adjusted for the fact that our easting was being scaled by a factor of secant, right? Because if you remember back to that video, we, when we derived these formulas, right, we said that this is actually wrong, um, that there's some error here. And so we're gonna adjust that error by stretching the northing. And what we do is we do that by log base E, which is also the natural log, of the tangent of pi over 4 plus theta over 2. Okay, So these are the equations. Radius times the longitude, and this is going to be the radius times the natural log of the tangent of pi over 4 plus theta over 2. So let's go ahead and plug in some of these values here. Let's start with N, Y, C. Okay. So our easting is going to be equal to R lambda. Our R, in this case, is going to be 3,959, same as last time. And our lambda is going to be that point, it's going to be that one, 1.241. So if you do the math on that again, sorry, negative 1.241, because we're again we're our, we're west of the prime meridian, which means our angle is negative. So if you do the math on that again, you get a value of negative 4,913 miles. We've seen this ca calculation a bunch of times. I'm not too worried about this one. The northing is the one that I really want to focus on because this is the one that we, we haven't done before. So our R is going to be that 3,959. I'm going to write the LN, because it's a little bit neater than log base E, of the tangent of pi over 4 plus, in this case, our theta is 0 0.68, 0 0.698 over 2. We bring up our handy dandy calculator. Clear whatever we were working on before. If we do pi over 4, we get 
And then if we add to that, Point six four eight divided by two, point three two four plus point seven eight five. Then we take the tangent of that, making sure that we're in radians. Take the tangent of that, and then we take the natural log of that, and then we multiply that by three nine five nine to get two thousand seven hundred and sixty three feet. Or two, sorry, 2,763 miles. Okay. Let's go ahead and look at London. So, London, the easting, right, again, London is actually sitting on the prime meridian, so it's actually going to be zero. We don't have to do any math there. But the northing, right, again, we have this 3,959 times the natural log of the tangent of pi over 4 plus, in this case, our um, theta is 0.89 over 2. So let's pull out our calculator again. We know that we know that we know that pi over four is 0 0.785, so we don't need to do that again. So we can pull up our calculator here. We can clear the previous problem. And we can do 0.89. Let's clear the previous problem. 0.89 divided by 2. We add to that. 0.785. Okay. We take the tangent of that. Then we take the natural log of that. Then we multiply that by 3959. And we get 4104. Hopefully that made sense. Let's do one more example. Let's do Paris. We're going to do Paris in this in this open space right here. So easting again is the radius times lambda. So in this case, that's going to be three nine five nine times the lambda, which is going to be point zero three five. So if we do the math on that again, you'll remember we get 139 miles. The northing is the one that we're more concerned with. So again, this is going to be r times the ln of the tangent of pi over 4 plus theta over 2. Okay. So plugging in values, that's going to be 3,959 times the ln of the tangent of pi over 4 plus our theta is going to be 0 0.855 over 2. So we know that the pi over 4, again, that value is constant of 0.785. And then we know that our value here is going to be, with our calculator here, 0.855 divided by 2 is 0.4275. We add the 0.785 to that. So this is our value in radians. So we can take the tangent of that. And then we take the natural log of that. And then we multiply by nine but sorry three nine five nine to get a value of three eight eight nine so this is gonna be three eight eight nine miles okay so that would be the easting and northing for our three cities using the 
conformal cylindrical projection. Hopefully that makes sense, and if you have any questions, please reach out. Thank you.